Most of us have experienced this, but what happened in New York City on Sunday was road rage to the extreme. A swarm of bikers attacked an SUV and its driver. Tonight, two men are in custody and Michelle Miller runs us through what happened. The incident was recorded on a helmet camera by one of the 30 riders tailing this black SUV. Police still don't know what started the confrontation. The SUV was forced to a stop when one of the bikers slowed down and was rear-ended. New York City Police Commissioner Ray Kelly. We had over 200 calls just on Sunday about this particular group operating in a, in a reckless manner. Inside the SUV was Alexian Lien, his wife and infant daughter. Police say he became frightened when approached by the bikers. He ran over two people while trying to flee. A two-mile chase followed. At one point, a biker tried to open Lien's door. When they finally caught up to him, they smashed his window. Police say Lien was pulled from the car and beaten. Police blame the bikers and have not charged the driver. It's believed the bikers were holding what's called a stunt ride in which they slow traffic to do tricks on the highway. Often bikers videotape their antics. This video is from Southern California. New York police say they were aware the riders planned an event on Sunday. We had checkpoints, we had inspections that were done of the motorcyclists. We had made uh, 15 arrests. We confiscated 55 uh, motorcycles. We issued 68 summonses. Leon was treated and released from the hospital, but 32-year-old Jay Maesis, one of the people he ran over, is in a coma. His wife, Diana, says he was just trying to help. He paralyzed my husband on the way. When you look at the video, you can see he's running over something. It's not just a motorcycle, it's a human being that was under there. Scott, one of the suspects in custody is believed to be one of the men who beat Leanne, the driver. Investigators tell us that they're studying that videotape, looking for even more suspects. Michelle Miller, thanks very much.